BC's police watchdog has been called in following a police chase and crash. It involved a tractor that was taking part in an anti-SOGI protest on the weekend. CTV's Ben Milger has more on the multiple investigations into the bizarre incident that sent the tractor driver to hospital. RCMP say officers were attempting to pull this tractor over when this happened. After the tractor came to rest on its side, officers pulled the driver from the wreckage. An RCMP SUV also had significant damage. Yeah, I'm in farming. In a Facebook live stream before the crash, the driver identified himself as a Chilliwack farmer. I'm Bill Schroker, and uh, we organized this uh, convoy. It's going to pull all the way up to Vancouver. The convoy was a protest against sexual orientation and gender identity, or SOGI curriculum, in BC schools. Very concerning. Um, what we're seeing in the province is a rise of this type of divisive and hateful politics um, that's seeping into this fringe of people that are protesting and targeting children. After the tractor flipped on the 176th Street overpass Saturday afternoon, Police arrested the driver before paramedics took him to the hospital for unspecified injuries. We found an address for a Chilliwack farm associated to the man believed to be behind the wheel of the tractor when it flipped. Staff here tell us he's still in the hospital. The Independent Investigations Office of BC confirms it's looking into the incident to see if the man's injuries meet the definition of serious harm. If they do, it will investigate whether the actions of any of the officers involved could be considered criminal. At the same time, RCMP continued to investigate the actions of the driver. Vancouver criminal lawyer Sarah Lehman says charges could be laid under the Motor Vehicle Act and the Criminal Code. There could be quite a number of things that police could contemplate forwarding to Crown in terms of criminal charges. Some of those could be failure to stop for police, flight from police, as well as dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. Penalties for those charges could include monetary fines and or jail time. At this point, police Police have not said what charges could be considered as part of the investigation. Ben Milger, CTV News, Surrey.